Today's horror manga dub and narration is Ice Cream Bus by Junji Ito. If you enjoy the story at any time, please do not hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into the manga. Ice cream. Ice cream. It's really delicious. How about some ice cream? And so there stood parked a man in his ice cream truck, just innocently trying to sell ice cream, or so it seemed. Surely there couldn't be nothing more sinister about it. The sounds of the arrival of the ice cream bus made every child scream in joy. They all wanted the ice cream for themselves. It's here! The ice cream bus! It's here! <laughs> they all scream in happiness. Papa! It's the ice cream bus! Let's go, Papa! And so, one by one, they all lined up outside the ice cream bus. They all wanted different flavors of ice cream. One boy wanted chocolate, another wanted vanilla, another girl wanted strawberry, another girl wanted blueberry. All the flavors that you could possibly imagine. All at once, like that, they bothered the ice cream man. The parents told them to go one at a time so that they wouldn't bother him so much. Another parent said, that's right, take turns. One child in particular talked back to his mother saying, but mama. But the strange yet peculiar ice cream man did not seem to mind. He simply stated, it's all right. Here's your chocolate, your vanilla and strawberry for you, little miss. A boy simply stands there, looking melancholic. It seems his father doesn't want to buy him ice cream. He states, Papa, buy me some ice cream too. But the Papa states, Absolutely not. In the winter, it'll upset your stomach. But the strange ice cream man continued to serve the customers, the children, he did so, so diligently. There was something just not right about him. I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Now then, get in line. Mister, where are we going today? That's right, I wonder where we'll go. Take care, dinner will be ready when you return. These kids on the bus, where do they go from here? Oh, sonohara son. You just moved here the day before yesterday, right? While they eat ice cream, they go once around the neighborhood and then return back. It's a free service just for the kids. It seems he started coming around here about a month ago. And the kids, they really look forward to the ice cream bus coming. It happens every Saturday night. One of the kids aboard the bus beckons to the ice cream man. Hey mister, hurry up. Get on, let's go! But the ice cream man just stares peculiarly at the father and his son. The other parents don't seem to care, but this father in particular, he wants to make sure that his son is extra safe and doesn't become spoiled. His son states, Papa, I want to ride the bus too! He looks at the bus, and then the doors click and shut the bus then departs with all the children aboard. The father and his son return home to their apartment. The father can't help but notice something about his apartment. He states, Come to think of it, from the time we entered this apartment, I thought there was a sweet smell. The ice cream bus probably comes here every week then. He looks over to his son. Tomoki. Your miso soup is getting cold, hurry up and come eat. But I want to eat ice cream, Tomoki brattily remarks. What's this? Are you still sulking? Eating ice cream while it's so cold out seems like only recently you've had an upset stomach from eating like that. Until it gets warmer, you shouldn't eat it. Look son, hurry and come eat. But the food Papa makes, it tastes terrible. Huh? But Mama's cooking is not very good either. What Papa makes is much more delicious. See? 
Look at this, ah, so good. Isn't it yummy? It's not yummy, ice cream is much better. Tomoki, cut that whining out. But Tomoki just continues to cry, cries for his mama and says that his mother's place is much better. The other parents in the apartment begin to hear Tomoki crying as well. They talk to one another. Hey, that man here, Mr. Sanahara, he's divorced, isn't he? Well, it certainly seems that way. The crying rages on. I hate Papa! So then he took custody of their child? Must be hard for him, all by himself? <gasps> the bus has returned, the ice cream bus! Ha, <laughs> it's true, the dreamy ice cream man has come back. Oh my, if your husband heard that, what would you do? But he's a nice man. It seems all the neighborhood mothers have a crush on this strange, peculiar ice cream man. What is it about this man that seems to charm the hearts of so many? Back in Mr. Sonohara's apartment, we see the boy stacking a bunch of blocks. Clack. Papa, look at how high it is. Tomaki, the day before yesterday, your mother called me on the phone. She said it was okay for you to go to her place. What are you going to do? Do you want to live with mama? But Tomoki, he precariously looks at his stack of blocks. Ice cream! Ice cream! <gasps> Papa, the ice cream bus is here! That's right, today is Saturday. This is really good. How about you, little boy? Would you like some ice cream? Feeling backed into a corner, the father finally concedes. Okay, do you want to get some ice cream? <gasps> really, Papa? I'll have yogurt. Orange sherbet for me. I'll have a double strawberry. Tomoki, what about you? Chocolate ice cream, please. One chocolate ice cream, please. Sure thing. One chocolate ice cream coming right up. The man of the ice cream bus then instructs the kids. He says, Now line up, kids. Line right up, right here. Woohoo! The kids scream in joy. Papa, is it really okay if I get on? Ah, sure thing, concedes Mr. Sonohara. But when you return, you have to eat the food I make properly. Okay. But the ice cream man, he then gives Mr. Sonohara a strange and peculiar glare, almost as if staring into his very soul. Mr. Sonohara notices, then the door shuts and the ice cream bus drives off into the moonlight. Later that night, Tomoki returns home. Papa! The ice cream bus, it's amazing! On the bus, there was a mountain of strawberry ice cream and everybody was just licking it. We all raced to lick it up. Look, look, my tongue, it's all red from licking the ice cream. Really? What happened to the chocolate ice cream that I bought you? I ate that all up too. That's ridiculous, your stomach is gonna hurt all night. It's totally fine, Papa. I don't want to eat now, because I'm all stuffed. What? Listen, you promised me that you would eat up your food. But it's awfully generous of that ice cream man to offer that kind of service. About a week later, Mr. Sonohara, he's walking home with some groceries in his hand. Work ended early today. Then he sees two children screaming in joy. It's been a while since I played of Tomoki, Mr. Sonohara thinks. Oof! A child slams right into his chest. They just keep screaming with happiness and joy. Huh? She got snot all over me. Ew. So nasty. Mr. Sonohara then arrives home to see a myriad of shoes at his doorstep. I'm home. Huh? 
friends. It's the kids from the apartment. They must have become friends on the bus. Later that night, Tomoki and Mr. Sonohara sit together in the living room. Tomoki, didn't you just say that you wanted to go to your mom's? I don't want to go no more, Papa. The ice cream bus doesn't come to Mother's place. Then the ice cream bus pulls up. Ice cream, ice cream. Tomoki states in joy, Papa, I'll be back. Once again, the ice cream man loads everyone on to his ice cream bus. Eating as much ice cream as they want. Really? Mr. Sonohara beckons the ice cream man. Ah, do you have a minute? I'd like to try riding the bus with the kids tonight. I'm sorry, adults can't ride the bus. Is that so? Mr. Sonohara walks away and takes a quick glare inside the ice cream bus. He sees his boy Tomoki and all the other children of the apartment just slurping and licking massive amounts of ice cream, almost disgustingly. The best way he could describe it was as if they had some sort of trance, like they were under some sort of spell. The door then shut and the ice cream bus pulled away rapidly. Later that night, come on Tomoki, wait, stop running around, get in the bath immediately. No, Papa. You will not say no. Every week when you come back from riding that bus, your body is all sticky. <laughs> Keep acting like this and you won't ride that bus next time. No, from now on, I'll always ride the bus. I don't care what Papa says. If you don't let me ride the bus with all the other kids, then I'll go to Mama's. Mr. Sonohara didn't know what to say to that. He felt scared. He didn't want to lose his little boy. Later that night, finally fell asleep. I guess it really can't be helped. And he left it all a mess. Mr. Sonohara places his slipper down to the floor to realize it's stuck upon some sort of sticky residue. Recently the room is all sticky. It must be from him touching everything with those sticky hands of his. Just once, if he could do as I say. Ugh, it's so sticky. What in the world is this? Whatever it was, it was just so sticky and the residue dripped from his fingertips. Several days later, Mr. Sonohara finds himself walking home from work. It's already fully spring. It's sweet, right? Sweet! <laughs> Mr. Sonohara spots two children just licking one another, licking each other as if they are melting. <laughs> the children just laugh. Upon returning to the apartment, Mr. Sonohara knows something isn't right. There's something he just can't quite put his finger on. He walks up the stairs and then notices a giant mound of sticky residue. I'm home. Once again, all of the shoes are at his doorstep. Tomoki, are your friends here? It's awfully quiet then. But what Mr. Sonohara sees is not a normal sight. It's a disgusting sight. He sees his son Tomoki just eating some sort of residue on the ground. He sees dissolved children, hats and clothes, but Tomoki just keeps eating. Hey Tomoki, what happened? What is this? But something isn't quite right with Tomoki no more. He just happily states, My friends, they came over to play, but everyone melted. It's alright though, daddy. What did you say? This is so sweet, it's ice cream. As he continues to lick the bodies of his dead friends. Kanichi-kun is vanilla. Takeshi-kun, he's chocolate. Kazuyuki-kun, she's strawberry, and Daisuke-kun, 
he became a yogurt double. Mr. Sonohara looks in terror at what his son has become, a grotesque monster who eats his friends. Mr. Sonohara begs his son to stop. Tomoki, cut it out! Don't lick that thing! Tomoki! I said cut it out! As a boy's head falls over, just melted from his body, it slowly oozes into the melting ice cream. <gasps> He screams in terror. Ice cream. Ice cream. Nobody knows the true story of the events that happened. All that they know is sometimes we still hear that sinister call. Ice cream. Ice cream. That's right, viewer. Why don't you get your ice cream? Come aboard the fabled ice cream bus. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked the video, if you did, please don't forget to comment and tell me that you like this format so I know to keep making these type of videos, and don't forget to like and share with your friends. Thank you so much for watching everyone, and remember, you're important and you matter. Have a great night everyone, goodbye.